Henry, I just finished my finals. <laughs> Do you want to come tie dye with me? Okay, what's up everyone? You might be wondering what this video is about or not. Maybe I put it as my thumbnail. Anyways, yeah, we're doing tie-dye and you might be wondering why we're doing tie-dye. Because like, what does that have to do with anything um, with the division or OT? Well, for our 530, oh my God, some things. Yeah, for our 534 health promotion and wellness class, we did these like self-care wellness workshops. The workshop that I was in was for tie-dyeing, but there were other ones like working out or um, journaling, TikToking. Honestly, I just wanted to show you all what um, it kind of taught me. This isn't like a tutorial, it'll kind of just be a fun interactive way to see me tie-dye. So we did socks like these and honestly I think this is they look pretty good this is my first time this is like my friend told me <laughs> my friend told me Kevin they look kind of like mold and honestly I'm here for it like it's cool I would wear it actually I'll wear it right now the socks are on let me see where do I start let me reintroduce myself I'm a second year master's student um, at the USC Chan Division of Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy. Yeah, that's me. And I'm a student ambassador and this is like my second video that I made. You can check out my first one, which was a day in the life. I'll see if I can link that up like right here or here. One of them. I don't know how to do this yet, but um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we've got a lot going on here. But yeah, oh yeah, here are the socks. I think they look pretty good. All right, anyways, so today we're gonna be tie-dyeing shirts. So I have this one. Um, it's just a plain white t-shirt. It says the Brooklyn Museum. And then this one is just literally like a, a plain white shirt. Oh, and then let me get the, like the dye. Okay. So we have, I have these bottles to put the, um, dye and dilute it with water in. Then I have, I have navy blue. There's this white one. Wait, what? Oh, this isn't, this isn't a color. Never mind. I only have two colors then. This is a color stay dye fixative. I guess I like squeeze it on, like once I put the color on to oh, make it make the color stay longer I guess but that I guess that's one of them I'll probably put it in a bottle indigo can you tell I have a favorite color and then I also have rubber bands string gloves I'm trying to think what um, what we did that workshop day what was the oh okay I have a bucket I should fill this up with water because I'm gonna um, soak the shirts in water. So we can do that first. The water is in the bucket. Stay hydrated. I think I'm gonna do the plain white one first. So let's get this started. Yeah, can you see that? I hope so, okay. I'm gonna soak this shirt in water. I have to like wring it out. Okay. So here you can see the wet shirt. So what I'm gonna be doing is basically crumpling it. I'm gonna be doing like the random movement method. I'm just gonna do this. Basically I'm gonna Okay, redo, 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 redo. This is slowly starting to not give me joy, but I know I'm gonna love it. 
once the um, finished product is done. Now I need to like rubber band it. Let's get to dying. So we're gonna start off with this. Whoa, wait, okay, I'm just, I'm literally like dying every edge. Wait, this is so cool. Let's just go with it, let's just do it. Okay. Hmm, maybe it looks interesting. You know what, I think it'll look okay. I just need to tell myself that it'll look okay. I'm gonna put this and then draw it up. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. So we're gonna let this sit in one of the cardboard boxes. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna do this shirt. This one, I'm gonna do one color. Oh, wait. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't use the dye fixative and I am so lazy to open it up. So we're just not gonna do it. Um, we're gonna do it on this one though, since hopefully I'll remember, but um, so we're gonna soak this now. We're gonna soak this in water. Oh, I just finished my last final for the week, literally like an hour ago. And I'm out here just treating myself to these, to this tie-dye activity. But yeah, I'm done. We're done. Honestly, anyone who did anything this summer, let's give ourselves some credit because this summer was a ride. But done with those thoughts. We're on to the, I get a week off now, so I get this weekend and then I get a week off and then back to, back on the grind, but honestly, like I said, this is not a tutorial. This is you watching me um, self-care slash suffer, mostly self-care. We're just gonna go for it. Just gonna go for it. Just gonna go for it. Yes! Yes! This is it. This is the last one. So I have this one. No, I didn't even use the fixative! What am I doing? I have to... Gosh. I have to do it. I have to do it. I told myself I was gonna do it. So I'm gonna do it. This is probably because my brain is fried after doing finals and stuff. It's all good, this is so part of the experience. Color stay dye fix it in just for you. Looking good. So now we've got these two. Let me take a break real quick. I just need to take a break. I'm gonna clean up and yeah, hold on. I took a little bit of a break. I'm not even gonna lie. It is so hot right now. But um, yeah, the shirts are done. The shirts, it is the next day. Let me just let me show you real quick. So here's the first one that we did with the plain white t-shirt. It's not bad. It's pretty okay, it's pretty okay. Now, this it's so cool. It's so sick. Ta-da! Looks pretty nice. It looks like clouds. It just adds a lot more like personality to it because it was just white and green, but I like it. It's cool. It's success. Okay everyone, thanks so much for tuning into the video. I hope you had a good time watching me in my laugh or cry moments. Shout out to Dr. Laura Cox and Dr. Kelsey Katawaki. They're the professors our class and thank you for offering these workshops because I don't know if I would have gotten into tie dyeing if it wasn't for this and thank you to Rachel Park she's a TA um, OTG student that led the workshop for us it was just a good time I'm done with finals now I get this week off to de-stress and I get two new shirts and yeah I actually I'm gonna insert a few clips from my OT friends that also did the tie dye workshop I just wanted to feature them and let them show you all what their tie-dye creations were. And yeah.
yeah, so you'll see that in the next clip. And I'll see you next time. Fight on! Hi everyone, so on tie-dye workshop day, I did these socks, and I also recently did this shirt that I'm gonna give to my friend, and I hope to make more this week. This is my tie-dye creation. Woo! This is my child! To find a way to you till then I tried to make it work, but I'm